good day lms portal dr kavita for ba optional english fourth semester section drama session 26 the topic of this session is the play the fire in the rain written by girish khanad girish khanad a well known contemporary play writer and author a film critic as well as a film director being born in mumbai Karnad was greatly influenced by the theatre plays at his young age since his parents were also involved and showed much interest in the dramas or the theatre plays during those days. As a youngster, Karnad was an adherent admirer of Yakshaganas and the theatre plays. Though he initially, his writings were in the language Marathi. Later, it was translated to English by him. Let us get to know about his education and works. He completed his graduation at Karnataka University in 1958. He was a Rhodes Scholar at the University of Oxford studying philosophy, politics and economics. His play Tugluk in 1964 received immense popularity with the Indian readers as well as the abroad. He was also a visiting professor at the Fulbright residency program at University of Chicago. Coming to his professionalism. The play Nagamandala received worldwide popularity. He made his entry into the film world with a movie called Samskara written by U. R. Anantamurti, a novel in 1970. He was also a part of the timeless TV series The Malgudi Days. Most of his plays were written in Kannada and had been translated into English by himself. Khanrad used a kind of mythical and mythology as a substance to his writings and most of his plays have a different kind of myth that connects with the modern world. Most of his characters are locked in psychological and philosophical conflicts. So let us know what kind of honors and awards he received. He received the Nyana Peter Award in 1999, the Padma Pushana Award in 1992, the Padma Shri Award in 1974, the Rajyotsava Award in 1970, Sangeet Natak Academy Award in 1972. Kannada Sahitya Parishat Award in 1992, Sahitya Academy Award in 1994 and many more including the National and State Filmfare Awards. So now let us get into the play. The play The Fire and the Rain was originally written in the language Kannada titled Agni Mattu Male in 1995. This play got translated into English in 1998. The play The Fire in the Rain draws upon the myth of Yakri taken from the chapters 135 to 138 of the Vanaprava Forest Canto from the epic Mahabharata. Particularly, this play, The Fire in the Rain, is Karnad's most complex play written and he took 37 years to complete the play. There is a special category of technique that Karnad uses in this play which is called as the play within the play and this connects to a Midsummer Night's Dream Shakespeare also uses a play within play and here Karnad 
he uses the same technique play within the play. Before knowing the main story of the play, first we should know what is the story of the myth Yakri. The myth of Yakri is about two friends, Rabya and Paradvaja. Rabya, who is a scholar through formal studies of the Vedas, has two sons called Paravashu and Aravashu. Bharadvaj, who does the aesthetic duties during the sacrifices, his son Yakri helps him. At times, Yakri feels that his father Bharadvaja is not being appreciated as much as Rabya for his intellectuality and he also feels jealous about Rabya's sons Paravashu and Aravashu because they are recognized as Vedic scholars. Knowing this he gets into an anxiety of going to the forest and getting into a deep penance to receive the Lord's grace for his knowledge. Because of strong devotion to the tapas or the penance, Lord Indra appears in front of him to grant his wishes. Yakari requests Lord Indra to grant him the intellectuality without his formal studies. Though Indra refused to grant him the wish because it may take a wrong path in his life, but still as Yakri was very adamant, Lord Indra granted him his wishes. Having received such a boon, Yakari behaves disrespectful to other yogis and he molests Rabya's daughter-in-law. When Rabya comes to know about Yakari's disgusting nature, he gets into a, a sacrifice which is called as Pritya and he through his strong devotion he, he makes the demands to come out of the fire to kill Yakri and the demand chases Yakri for Yakri runs throughout the forest and his mouth gets dried and he will not get anywhere, he cannot find anywhere water and he dies because he was not able to use his intellectuality. Bharadvaj, in the grief of his son's death, he burns himself upon the funeral pile. And before Bharadvaj dies, he curses Paravashu that his father Rabya will die in his hands. So after this incident, Later, one day, after Paravashu finishing his sacrifice and getting to the hermitage, he sees his father who is in disguise with a uh, deer skin. Unknowingly, Paravashu throws an arrow at his father thinking that it is a deer and kills his father. And later he comes to know that the curse has become true that he has killed his father. And he cremates his father and gets back to his duties where Aravasu hates his brother Paravasu saying that he killed his father. And he doesn't permit 
Parabasu to get into his duties. In due frustration, Parabasu also goes to the forest and he also sits in a tapas where again Lord Indra appears to grant his wishes. So Paravasu requests for his father and Yakari to make them alive so that he can perform his duties and that and Lord Indra grants Paravasu his boon. So with the rebirth when Yakri comes again to life on earth, he understands what was his mistake and he goes and takes his formal education and he becomes a scholar formally. So this is the myth of Yakri. And here the myth of Yakri is well infused with the crisis of modern man exploring the complexities of problems. The context is very much relevant to the theme morality. This possesses the merits of the morality with the shades of reality and ideology. So let us see how he dealt with the myth in the story to explore the complex problems of man in the modern world in the next session. Thank you.